I've got candy, skip to my loo. A lot of money. Ah. Hello everyone, my name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli, and today we have a bulk collection. We're gonna start things off in a barbecue restaurant. You know, with restaurants, I've noticed that chocolate does very well in them, opposed to doing something like, um, say, Reese's Pieces and Skittles. Um, I don't have this down to a science or anything, but um, it's just something that I've kind of observed. I don't know if it's just people want a, um, a chocolatey treat after they, uh, after they finish their meal. Or, or what the deal is, but go ahead and open the back here. And this machine did absolutely wonderful. Eli and I was absolutely floored. We could not believe our eyes. <laughs> Some spilt just a little bit. And look at all of that still in there, wow. This is, this is our best pull yet from a bulk machine um, by a long shot um, we'll wait to the end of the video to uh, share with you how much it made but um, yeah it surpassed it surpassed anything that we've done before by a uh, by a landslide and now we have a VIN design this is at a tire uh, store a um, I think they refurbish tractor tires and um, large semi tires and uh, with these VIN designs that's kind of the thing with them um, they hold a high volume of candy and uh, you know they need to do pretty well for them to uh, for them to work but uh, this one does pretty good pretty steady let's open it up we uh, we go ahead and switch out the peanuts for Reese's Pieces here here in a minute, and uh, you know I think that's for the best. I've I've seen posts on Vin Nation about people getting um, I believe I believe it's moths or some sort of uh, some sort of bacteria or fungi, and it can get pretty nasty, and uh, you end up needing to throw the whole machine away because it can just get into absolutely everything and just uh, ruin your machine but before that happens let's go ahead and switch out the can uh, the peanuts with Reese's pieces so when we when we showed up here a uh, an employee came up to us and he was telling us that they couldn't get anything out of the skittles and uh, upon further investigation and it did, did you see it? it? It did. It did pretty well. It did fairly well. I got off track on my story, but it, this is a pretty this is a pretty solid spot. You know, you can't really complain. Um, but anyways, he was saying that uh, that the Skittles was not dispensing, and upon further investigation, uh, we found out that the um, container wasn't put on correctly. So so the uh, the coin mech wasn't catching the candy wheel. And uh, prevented it from dispensing candy. So nice and full. It's a good looking machine. A pain in the neck, but but a very nice machine. So this is a this is a fairly new spot. This is a bar. They also sell um, food and, and and other things, but uh, primarily a bar. And um, I think does very well. This is sort of like a darker kind of bar. So we have the uh, the black three head. 
I think it goes really well and it's kind of um, an older you know style bar it's more like a tavern maybe uh, like a pub something along those lines but uh, we go ahead and fill it up to the rim these these bars can get really crazy and uh, you get people drinking and and they want some they want some candy and they can they can do they can do a toll on on your candy so go ahead and fill that up and it didn't it didn't make as much as uh, as we'd like but uh, it's only a month and um, it's fairly new too. this this bar has been open in our town for quite some time so uh, it being so new uh, I don't think that so many people know about it and uh, prevented it from having such uh, good good sales um, so let's go ahead and go over to our car detailing spot and this guy always performs very well as you can see it's pretty empty right now this is the machine that um, they called us up and um, asked us to change out gumballs for skittles now this was before we were using uh, nerd gumballs which we use in 97 98 99 percent of our machines i think there's maybe a spot or two that we don't use them yet we just haven't switched them out anyways um they told us to switch it out with skittles which uh we weren't opposed to skittles has a nice margin uh next to gumballs so that's all right um we're not going to complain about it it still does very very well Get the peanut m ms in there always a always a strong seller everywhere go ahead lock the top and let's spin it around and see what we got inside yeah and that's a week so very very well um, we've been up and uh, we've, we've been trying to get it just right with uh, when we come and collect this machine because it does so well we don't want to miss out if it's completely empty and nobody can get anything from it because there's no product in it so we decided to come check on it um, after a week and um, I'm really glad we did because uh, it performed very very well and uh, that's what we like to see it's a good looking machine too Sort of their logo is uh, is is yellow, so it kind of kind of goes well with their whole theme. Let's go ahead and see what we made total. This is the barbecue restaurant, 118.25. Oh my God, we couldn't believe our we couldn't believe what we saw. I'm speechless right now. I, it's it's just so it's just so um, I've I've never even heard of anybody online getting that from from a three head now you, you can make some money like that in like a u-turn or like a vin design if it's in a high traffic area but uh for a three head that is very very good dump these quarters and go ahead and move on to the tire shop and um this is a 23.75 that's okay uh you know it's I can't compete against something like $118 or whatever, but that that doesn't happen. I mean, I've uh, never seen it, but uh, $24 is it's, it's not bad. Uh, we'll keep it. <laughs> Go ahead and move on to uh, the bar. That is $12.25, and that's its first month. And I think that's with people not knowing um, where it is. Or, you know, they haven't seen it before. It's kind of new to them. So, yeah. And for the car detailing shop, we're looking at $39.25, which is really, really good. Because if that's per month, then that's $157 from that location. And all together, $192.75. That's four locations. One of those was a week, another was 45 days, and, another, and, and then two others were a month so very okay with that very exciting and i always get one red quarter out of the bunch i always get one of, i don't know what that is why do i always get those weird all right guys um i want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about 
where we get our candy machines from. Now, we at a time got all of our machines used. Uh, we've since then gone to um, buying them new online. So I uh, just kind of want to show you guys what we use and, uh, and all that sort of thing. So scrolling down here, uh, you can see you can see they have candy Rex. You can see they have uh, uh, the three heads here. Now that's what we use, right? Um, and there is a bunch of options. So a bunch of different colors if you have you know a different kind of theme you need, or perhaps uh, you need your coin mech to uh, take some sort of token or maybe you live in a different country, right? Um, just so many different options, so many different bases that you can go for. Um, just super, just super uh, detailed with what you can do with it. And it's at a fair price as well. So um, just something to keep in mind whenever you're, you're looking around. See, see, there we go. I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable and we're gonna uh, punch in that uh, that promo code and it's gonna knock us down to about 150 bucks guys that is not bad uh, the return on investment that you that you can potentially get from it um, it's it, it just can go way over uh, what you uh, what you paid for it so you know consider it if you have the if you know if you have the income the, uh, the spare money to invest in something like that uh, I'd completely go for it and uh but if you're if you're trying to spend a little bit more money uh you can always go with uh northwestern um the rhinos that we were just looking at yeah the parts are uh there some of them i think the majority of them are uh made in china and maybe they're assembled in the united states but um regardless northwestern uh that's kind of their thing is that they're all american made but you are also going to pay that uh that all american price uh, it's going to be hefty, and um, it's worth it. North Amer uh, uh, Northwestern makes um, great, great machines. So, just another options, uh, other option for you. So, um, you can also take the Gumball Machine Warehouse website. Um, these machines, I'm not sure uh, what brand they are, um, right? But. I, you know, I'm gonna go off and, and say that they're probably China or, you know, somewhere um, foreign, but, uh, you know, you got the same kind of thing here, guys. Uh, set up the candy wheel how you want, uh, uh, the stand, the color, and um, don't forget the promo code VN. Now, that will take 10% off your, your, the cost. And I do believe that is the um, off the entire site, um, so go crazy with that 10%. Um, but anyways, let's look at uh, where we get our candy. Uh, where we get our candy, and we get all of our candy pretty much from Sam's Club. And um, if you just look at those prices, they're just so uh, just so reasonable. We vent half an ounce, so whatever Sam's Club says the price per ounce is, we vent half. So it's pretty good money and if you noticed uh they had the easter peanut m ms i would steer clear of those uh and the reason is is that people don't recognize them and i mean i know they're fun and i know they're uh their holiday and and all that sort of stuff but people just won't know what they are and um, a lot of times they just won't be interested because they don't recognize them so just something to think about uh before you spend a bunch of money on uh discounted uh holiday candy uh it's just not worth it uh and skittles too it's just it's just so good um can't really get around it i'd go ahead and sign up for a sam's club membership or if you have a costco uh nearest you uh, maybe you don't have a sam's club i don't know much about costco um we don't have one near us for several hours uh but but for for the people that have a Sam's Club near them, I would highly recommend it. Uh, even the Reese's Pieces. Um, but guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe button, uh, and drop a comment down below. Um, it could just be anything. Just tell us hi, or maybe maybe you're you're dealing with something in your uh, in your business, your your vending business or something. Uh, just just let us know. You know, just kind of talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. But that's gonna do it from us. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.